To understand the hurricane impacts on drinking water quality, first, we need to know where our drinking water originally come from. In the water cycle, liquid water evaporates into water vapor, condenses to form clouds, and precipitates back to earth in the form of rain and snow. Rain water falls on a water basin, run hills and flow into rivers or lakes. In many cases, river and lake waters are our drinking water sources. Water quality of these source waters highly depends on the land uses within a water basin. It is because when water passes through forests, farms, or cities, water can carry nutrients and pollutants from these areas. Under a normal non-flooding condition, soils and forests can serve as a filter and retain nutrients and pollutants when water infiltrate. However, in the events with intensive rainstorm and hurricane, too much rain falls onto the ground that cannot infiltrate into soil, the excess water becomes surface runoffs. Let's consider farmland as our first example. Intensive rainfall from hurricane rapidly infiltrate into soils. When rainwater exceeds the soil holding capacity, excess rainwater will cause flooding. These flooding water can wash and carry animal wastes, herbicides, and fertilizers into local streams and rivers. Similar scenarios can occur in residential areas and urban environments. If rainfall exceeds the capacity of the drainage system of a city, excess water can cause flooding, washing the chemicals and pollutants stored in garbages, houses, and cars. Also, large amount of water can flush pollutants accumulated in the sewage systems. Therefore, flooding water from urban area can be heavily polluted and deteriorate water quality downstream. Flooding water can also wash pollutants from coastal forest and wetlands. In normal non-flooding condition, soils in coastal forest and wetlands have important ecosystem functions. They can retain nutrients and many pollutants from upstream waters. These natural forests and wetlands can also absorb carbon and mercury from the atmosphere. However, under flooding condition, flooding water can wash out nutrients and pollutants stored in the soils, exporting them to downstream. It is a great challenge for water utilities. Flooding water can contain a variety of nutrients and pollutants washed from upstreams. The loads of pollutants and nutrients in flooding water can be several times higher than in normal water conditions. Therefore, water treatment plant may not be able to remove all the pollutants and nutrients in the source water after hurricane and flooding events. In 2015 and 2016, Hurricane Joaquin and Matthew resulted intensive rainfall in southeastern U.S., resulting extreme flooding in many landscapes across South Carolina. To better understand the impacts of flooding water to drinking water quality, researchers at Clemson University collected water from different locations in coastal rivers, representing different land uses, along the P.D. and Waccamaw rivers during and after the two hurricane events. These sampling sites received water from different landscapes, including farmlands, urban areas, forests, and wetlands. Samples were collected over time for detailed chemical analysis in biogeochemistry and environmental quality research laboratory at Clemson University. Results of the studies about DOC, DBPs, and other water quality issues have been published in three scientific articles. The objective was to examine the efficiency of normal drinking water treatment process on flooding water. First, chemicals, known as coagulants, were added to remove certain nutrients and pollutants. After filtration, chlorine was added to disinfect water. Although chlorine can remove pathogens, it can also react with DOC to form DBPs. Dissolved organic carbon, also commonly known as DOC, is originally from decomposed plant and soil organic matter and generally causes tea or straw-like color. The runoffs from farmland, city, and wetland had different water quality and had different amount and chemistry of DOC, thus, water from these areas can form different amounts of DBPs. Trihalomethanes and haloacetic acids are the mostly observed DBPs in water. They are currently regulated by US EPA. Importantly, Clemson scientists observed the DBPs could exceed the US EPA's maximum contamination level. Water from wetlands had the highest DBPs. There are a variety of DBPs, haloacetonitrile and N-nitrosodimethylamine. These two chemicals are more commonly observed in urban and farmland runoffs. Results demonstrated that surface water after flooding or hurricane can have high loads of pollutants. Normal water treatment processes may not effectively remove them, and treated water can contain significant levels of pollutant that exceed US EPA standards. To understand the drinking water quality in your areas, 
you can find the drinking water report from your local water utilities. In the United States, you can also visit the EPA website. You can search the information by enter your state or your city into the consumer confidence reports. The water quality report shows the regulated water contaminants data from your local area. You can find the information that you need to know about the water you drink on the report. You can also go to World Health Organization to learn about the drinking water quality standards.